Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada video element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. The Avada video element is one of three video elements, the others being the YouTube and Vimeo elements. The main difference here is that the video element provides support for self-hosted videos in Avada. As an example, I'm going to add the element here on the resume pre-built in the middle of the recent project section. The element has two tabs, general and design. At the top of the general tab, the first option is video mp4 upload, where you add your mp4 file. I'll just add a video here from the media library, and it appears on the page. The mp4 format must be included to render your video with cross-browser compatibility. You can also upload the video in WebM format with the next option. This is a format growing in popularity, but it's still optional. Start time is the next option, and this can be used to start the video at some other place than right at the start. You add the value in seconds, so if you add 20 in here, the video will start playing at the 20 second mark. Likewise with the next option, end time. With these two options, you can just select a portion of a video to play. The next option is video max width. You can set this in pixels or a percentage. If you leave it empty, the full video width will be used, or the full column width, whichever is smaller. You can show or hide the video controls with the next option, and this is on default, which in this case is show. The next option is video preloading, and with this you can control if and how the browser should preload the video. You can choose from auto, metadata, or none. Choose metadata if only the video metadata should be preloaded on page load, or auto to preload the full video on page load. None will not load anything, but the video will then take a little longer to start. Following this are options for looping, auto playing, and muting the video, all of which have simple yes no choices. In my case, I'm going to set all three to no. The next option is track tags. This can be used to specify subtitles, caption files, or other files containing text that should be visible when the media is playing. If I add a track tag and edit it, you can see the kinds of text tracks you can add. Following this, the last unique option on this tab is the preview image option, if you'd like to add a preview image for the video which shows before it's played, with the video controls overlaid, so it's obvious it's a video. I'll just add one here from the media library. Finally, there is the usual element visibility option, which allows you to choose whether the element is displayed on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID fields, which allow you to further customize the element with custom CSS. On the design tab, there are a few more options to control the look of the video. First up is overlay color, which as the name suggests, overlays a color over the video. I'll just choose a global color for the overlay. That has 50% transparency built in, but this can also be altered. So for example, if I set the alpha channel to say minus 70, the overlay lightens. Border radius follows this, and here you can independently control the radius of each corner of the video. For instance, I can give this video slightly rounded edges by adding a value of 10 pixels all around. You can also apply a box shadow to your video, and if you do, you get four more options to control that box shadow in the form of box shadow position, box shadow blur radius, box shadow spread radius, and box shadow color. I'll just leave this on no. The last two options for this element are alignment, which can be text flow, left, right, or center. I usually make this center for better responsive design, but that will of course depend on both your video and your layout. Here my video is bigger than the column containing it, so there's no need for alignment. And finally, there is a margin option for adding margin at the top and bottom of the element. Okay, that's the Avada video element. It's a real boon for anyone wanting to use self-hosted video on their websites, and offers you all the customization options you might need. Ok, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.